Saw is a horror psychological film released in 2004 that shocked the audience with its grotesque methods of torture and murder, but also for its twisted philosophy that changes a person's way of living. Today, we're going to take a look at the deranged message within the movie Saw. The Saw movies all share a similar composition. A victim or victims are shown trapped in a so-called game for survival. People who have been abducted by a serial killer named Jigsaw. But this character differs greatly from other movie killers, because he believes in a very peculiar philosophy. John was a civil engineer who was passionate about machines. He was a happily married man with a child on the way. Him and his wife lived a very happy life until tragedy came knocking at their door. During the robbery, John's wife loses the baby. This leads John into depression. Later he is diagnosed with an inoperable brain tumor. This leads him to try to commit suicide via a car crash, but he miraculously survives. He escapes the car wreck by removing a metal bar that pierced his body. At that moment, he realizes how important life is, and he decides to teach this message to the people who did not appreciate or value their lives, trapping them into terrifying machines created by him. Unlike other movie villains, Jigsaw did not directly kill his victims. In fact, he is not considered a murderer. He forced people to go through these tests in order to give them a new chance at life. The philosophy of Jigsaw is clear. He wants to convey the desire to survive and the appreciation of life to his victims. But do these methods of torture really work? To understand this, we must pay a visit to several locations around the world, starting with the house of torture, McKamey Manor. This place, located in California, is a tour that began as a simple haunted house. But over time, it was transformed into a house of torture. To enter this attraction, people must first sign several consent forms and pay with cans of dog food. The tour takes hours to complete, but no one has ever been able to. The people who enter this place are subjected to various degrees of psychological torture that some end up fried or even traumatized. The worst thing about this tour is that once it starts, it will not stop unless you are demolished or are psychologically incapable of moving. People have even suffered heart attacks and serious traumas during this tour. Unlike the movie, these people enter this place voluntarily. In fact, there is a list of thousands of people who wishes to enter and to be tortured. The testimonies of the people who were subjected to this place are usually divided. Some consider this site as a place of absolute torture, while others regard it as an extreme source of entertainment. So far, there has been no evidence of people saying that they appreciate more their lives after visiting this place. In China, there is something called the Death Simulator. This seeks to provoke the appreciation of life to its participants. In this case, testimonies have been recorded from people who say that the experience has helped them appreciate life, quite similar to the cases of people who have survived terminal diseases. Many testimonies have been drawn from people who have said that being on the verge of death made them appreciate life more and even helped them to become better people. So in theory, you could accomplish this sense of appreciation in people similar to those who are in the brick of death in the movie, but obviously they are much more susceptible to being psychologically traumatized or even killed. Subjecting people to psychological and or physical torture is a way to reprogram the brain. We can see more than just a sincere change in a person, but also a psychological change based on the traumatic experience. Jigsaw seeks to awaken this survival instinct in people, as mentioned by Sigmund Freud. Freud said that each person has a survival instinct, that it is sometimes suppressed by our environment, but once endangered, this instinct takes control of the person or people and who will be able to do things they have never imagined. This same philosophical position can be heard in the words of Dr. Mann in the movie Interstellar. He says that when a person is on the verge of death, his instincts will take over his reason. Without a doubt, the philosophy of Jigsaw is one of the most complex that has ever been seen in a film of this type, dividing the opinions of the general moviegoers and the fans of this genre. Some consider Jigsaw a cruel psychopath and others a misunderstood savior. 
tell me what you think about Jigsaw and his philosophy. Is he another deranged serial killer, or is he an enlightened one with a philosophical position applicable to our society? Thank you all for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, assume nothing and question everything.